hiding from the sun. Because <laughs> all day long here in Florida, it's like I can't take it. ago I sailed uh, till like 1 or 2 a.m. I think and uh, I was doing like most of the time like six seven eight knots but once in a while I was going up to uh, 14 knots at night alone when you're offshore with big waves it's, it's a bit much if something goes wrong it's really hard to, to deal with so uh, I kind of reefed the sail as much as I could and brought it down but uh it was rough it was rough I, I was exhausted so then i went to uh, uh captive island and i went close to the very close to the beach and since the wind is coming from uh, from the east from the beach i didn't have waves but there were swells coming on the beach so i couldn't get too close either you know so anyway i didn't have a good night And uh, thank you, Michael Stutzer, for the uh, shrouds. They work great. I have to, they're stretching a lot. Those are Dyneema. And I have to uh, retention them quite often. But hopefully I'm, uh, I'm about done and they're gonna stop stretching. But uh, I'm glad I have that. And then I haven't tried your sails yet, but I will in, uh, when I get back to Sarasota, I had the Doug Fisher look at them and, and uh, kind of give me a quote on my sails too. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting for that. But I'll try your sails uh, in the search so they'll see how, how they handle. Thank you. It's been uh, really windy these past few days. So I have to read because when you get a gust otherwise I, I just kind of almost lose control. I mean now it's like 12 knots earlier and in those waves it's not too comfortable. the coast so the waves are much smaller which is nice all right I'm just south of uh, Marco Island this is day three of my trip from Sarasota to uh, the Everglades so I'm just uh, anchored just south of uh, Marco Island here it's a nice beach spend the night there's not much swell so that was good wind is out from east to west and uh, as you can see I'm reefed for 30 knots dust and I'm just gonna let myself drift When I turn the corner towards the Everglades, they'll be will be in the wind much more than now. Do you know what? A little bit more. Playing it safe. Pretty bumpy here. Going upwind, I have like four hours to do like this until I get to hopefully the Everglades Beach.
I like the bubble, it's freaking great. <laughs> The depth here is about 10 feet. Is that what it says here? 13 feet, but earlier it was 3, so I hit the bottom and my uh, my rudder uh, went up. But uh, I'll be more careful. And the waves are so narrow and steep because it's, it's not deep. Plan. So I live this morning here and that's I want to go to this beach. It looks like we have uh, about four hours to get there. It's funny because an hour ago it was four hours. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. <laughs> Marco Island back there, where we were this morning. We left two hours ago. A bit messy, but that's like that when you sail. <laughs> and then this is basically storage. That's where I keep my seat. This is great, by the way. Much more comfortable on long distance. So that was a good move. I like it. It's really nice. I can see all my sails. I can stay dry. And uh, I can actually stand up now when this is down. So this is also really nice because getting in and out and I felt it was missing. I was grabbing these things here. So when it's bumpy, it's, it's really nice to have. My brother calls this R2D2. That is as much upwind as I can. We're doing like four knots. It's just getting way worse. The wind really picked up. It's like between 20 and 25 with little gusts higher than that. So still four hours to go. <laughs> I've been sailing for two hours, still four hours to go. Little problem, my uh, boat spread just popped up. Okay, let me fix that. Line broke while detached. 